Hey everybody, this is Father Sean for another episode of It's Still the Chair Chat. You know, we might have another couple weeks left of the chair chat before we're back to the couch chat, and that's all right. You know, nothing wrong with that. And, you know, this week in the, well, this week we're in August, which is really kind of stunning. But of course, August means that summer, the end of summer is in sight, as sad as that is, as lamentable it is, that summer is, is nearing its conclusion. Here we are, you know, is bound to happen eventually. And even in the parishes, we have a, a couple things kind of signaling the, uh, the end of summer and the fact that the school year is upon us. So of course, this, this Sunday, August the 6th, we have an ice cream social and that ice cream social one is just gonna be a good time to get together. It's gonna be a good time for our parishioners our par uh, to, to get together in fellowship, enjoy the summer. Everybody loves ice cream in the summer and to celebrate the very particular feast day of the transfiguration of our Lord. August 6th is always the transfiguration of the Lord. And so this, this weekend, it actually trumps the Sunday in ordinary time. So we'll get to behold the Lord as white as the sun, which is just, just a beautiful feast day. And, um, and so part of, so ice cream social, celebrate the feast day. And then also the ice cream social, we'll get to a chance to say goodbye to Christopher Busher. So he's been our, our seminarian around the parishes for the last year. He's gotten involved in, in so many things. And I've, I've appreciated getting to know him over this past year, watching him grow, watching him challenge himself to uh, get involved in particular things in the parish. And so it's just been a, a great blessing to, to walk alongside Christopher this, this past year. And you know, this goodbye is not forever. You know, I'm sure we'll, we'll see him back again. We'll see him at Sunday Mass, or he may pop in for this thing or that thing. So, so it's, a, it's a temporary goodbye. We'll, we'll see him again, but a good way to, to stop by and at least express gratitude, say hello, maybe even introduce yourself for the first time. You know, there's only so many people that you, that you can meet in a year. So let's finish off strong with a lot of people that he, he gets, to, gets to greet. And then finally, for the uh, ice cream social, is also going to be the blessing of backpacks. And so we'll, uh, we'll be blessing all of those backpacks as kids get ready to stuff them with all sorts of, all sorts of goodies ready to go, go back to school. In some ways, this is to bless our, our students, our teachers, as they, they begin a new school year. And then even as we're kind of thinking uh, parish life, right? The, the fall, kind of the end of August, the first week in September is a time when CCD kicks off for the year. So if you haven't registered your son or daughter for CCD or your, or your grandchild too, if you're the person that registers them, go ahead and do that. You know, that gives us a good head count, gives us a good sense of who we can prepare for, how many supplies we need, gives the list to the, the catechists and everything like that. So if you haven't signed up uh, your son, daughter, your grandchild for for CCD, go ahead and do that, and uh, we're getting geared up for uh, getting geared up for an exciting year. And you know, one of the things that I get to be a part of quite a bit in in our parishes is the confirmation prep. So I, I get to do a lot of the catechesis of confirmation prep. Not not all of it, but a but a lot of it. Um, and so one of the things it's nice to have all of our all of our high schoolers who are preparing for confirmation together. So if you have a ninth or a 10th grader, they'll be in confirmation preparation this year. We actually are gonna separate them this year so it's not quite as big of a, of a group. So the, the 10th graders, basically early February is when they'll be confirmed, which is why we kind of do two years, is to give, give more time so that we're not cramming so much in. So the, when the ninth graders show up for confirmation prep, uh, there'll be a parent night, but the ninth grade confirmation is a bit of kind of like maybe more nuts and bolts thing for confirmation. So we'll do a night on the saints as they'll pick a confirmation saint. We'll do, we'll do a night on sponsors to help them discern who God might be asking them to be their sponsor. And then once we get into sophomore year, we get into the more of the catechesis, basically refreshing and deepening the catechesis that has taken place uh, for, for years, you know, and all in preparation for confirmation in February of 2024. And so that's why we do a, a, a two-year program that we do kind of the basics and kind of getting, getting the feet wet and getting kind of just some of the practical things for, to put it on the radar of the ninth graders and their parents. And then in the 10th grade year, we get more into, into the, the nuts and bolts, the meat of confirmation prep. And alongside that, it's, it's always good for them to go to the Life Teen on Wednesday nights also. 
So it, it's, it's uh, it, the essential part for the preparation is going to be the, the catechesis, which is on Sundays. But of course, there's nothing wrong with, with uh, going, going to uh, Life Teen also. The confirmation prep uh, meetings are about once a month. You know, I think for the freshmen, it's just four times, four times this year. So it's, it's not an undue burden. You know, it's, uh, it's, we're just trying to open this tr great treasure trust that we have of the Catholic faith and invite our young people into it. And that's what we do in CCD. That's what we do in Life Teen on Wednesday nights. That's what we do in confirmation prep. We have been given such a great gift in the life of Jesus Christ and the sacraments. And, and so what we try to do is just open it, to share it, whether it's things spiritual or liturgical or theological or biblical, all of those things we just want to share with our, with our young people. And it, it's such a joy to get to share this, to invite them to offer this great gift of a life in Christ. And, and so uh, thanks for being part of that. Thanks for encouraging your son, your daughter, your granddaughter, grandson, friends, nieces, nephews, whoever it is, to be part of this great aspect of our faith. And so as we're preparing for this next year of catechesis, this next year in our, in our parishes, maybe we just ask for the Lord's blessing upon this entire catechetical year, that His face, that His holy radiance may be known amongst all of us, not just the young, but also all of us who have been Catholic for decades, all of us who who are in retirement years and, and wherever we find ourselves, whether we're somewhere in between the womb and the tomb, that we, uh, we may see the face of Jesus this catechetical year and experience his abundant goodness. So I realize that was a lot getting ready for this next catechetical year, but uh, uh, yeah, this is Father Sean for another episode of the Couch Chat and hopefully get to, get to see you this Sunday for the Ice Cream Social. Take care. God bless. We'll talk to you later. Bye.